keep your distance. It may be one of Mitre's illusions. She's a human. I can see she's human. She may be enchanted. It could be a trick to keep us from our work. Things are very different up here. She's nearly drowned. She needs help. We should take her to Fenvara. I'm captain. I decide what we do. I decided. Take her to Finvara. <sighs> I've never seen the border so quiet. The peace between Kells and Temra seems to be holding. But will it last a hundred lifetimes as the ancient scroll prophesied? <laughs> if it does, your destiny as Draganta is fulfilled. Don't hang your swords up just yet. Kells and Temra soldiers. I'm hard at it. Obviously, not everybody has heard of the truth. Maybe they didn't want to listen. Let's go! Oh! 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 Ah! 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 Well... You know the kingdoms are at peace. Tell it to the Tamras. I'll tell it to the lot of you. Hey, I'm on your side. Now the next soldier caught fighting, be he killed or Tamra, will pay his price in the castle jail. And that's an unpleasant thought. Now move on, all of you. Go on. Can this truce last a hundred hours? We should hurry. The king expects us. Aideen! Yes, Rowan. Here I am. Aideen, go to the castle. Garrett is on watch there. Tell him we'll return soon. I'll see you there. The South Meadows can all be planted and the pasture lands reopened. You trust the truce? Oh, may have suffered heavy losses. She can't go on forever. You know, this war has been such a distraction. I've missed being a proper father to you. But now, all that's going to change. What have you missed most? Hearing you play your harp. <laughs> Do you know how much I hated to practice? I used to hide it here and pretend I didn't know where I left it. <laughs> well, play something for me now. Excuse the intrusion, but I too love music. Did you need something, Garrett? Rowan sends word, all is quiet. They're returning to the castle. Very well. The king won't be happy to learn his soldiers have broken the truce. Ah, they're good lads. Maybe we should keep it amongst ourselves, right? Halt! I command you! It's a strange welcoming committee. King Finvara orders you to come at once to Tiernan Oak. This must be serious. Maybe it's about the truth. Lead on. <laughs> ah! At last you have arrived. My foolish red cat guards mistakenly brought this mortal to my throne room. Take her away at once! Is she alive? Who is this beauty? She's awake. Where am I? Um, it's a bit hard to explain. Uh, yeah. I know none of you. Nor do I know myself or how I came to be here. She has no memory. You are with friends, my lady. I am Rowan. King Finvar, you're a seer. Can you not tell us of this girl's past? The girl has no memory. That'll make it difficult. But what do you see? Worse than I feared. What is 
this beast? Dark enchantment. Is this Midas doing? No. There is something more powerful. But do we have to fight it? Cannot say. But this I know. Only the right hand shall destroy him. Now you must get the girl to the castle. Take her away at once. She's in terrible danger. Now go, go. We found her in Tirnanog. Finbarra says she's in great danger. Well then, it is our duty to protect her. Do we know anything more? She remembers nothing. But by her dress and manner, she appears to be of royal blood. She's very pretty, isn't she? My king, with your permission... Do you remember how you came to be in Kells, young lady? God, what do you see? A dark shadow hangs over this girl, and a threat of peril. And I see her name. She is Princess Lynette. Arthur, you were right. She needs rest and complete quiet. Oh, oh, please. Please. please, please, please. You're a jealous princess. I of all fairies should know. Jealous? Aideen, I have no time for your ridiculous prattle. My king, there's been an attack on the northern border. You said all was quiet. And it was, sire. And Maeve has made fools of us. See to this disturbance and report back here at once. I will attend to Princess Lynette. We'll go through Wayne Valley. Tier Nagui. Alert the castle reserve. Look! Kells warriors. They've tasted battle by the looks of it. Oh. Well, where's the fighting, lads? So much for May's truce. I've never seen our men so shake. <laughs> We need our armor to protect us from these stinging bob. Right. Fire within me. Air above me. Earth beneath me. Water around me. Forest before me. Finished. My orders were to drive it from Temra. It's in Kells now. <laughs> Happy hunting! <laughs> A beast beyond imagining preys on the countryside. King Conaher is huge and withstand our weapons. This is Maeve's dark evil. No, God. Temra suffers as we do. It has the strength of 20 men. Burning eyes and claws that tear. 
Princess Lynette. You're safe here, my lady. Can this thing, this monster, be defeated? <gasps> We're about to find out. Man the wall! Come on. And remember, use your right hand. Keep firing. Don't let up. We used our right hand. In Vara's words, are of no use. He's hurt, but he'll be back. Rowan is right. I know that creature. He'll return before sunset. And if it gets inside, your castle will fall. What do you know of this monster? Seeing the beast has awakened my memory to the nightmare that is called Gwyndon. The creature Gwyndon has been the scourge of my kingdom. I undertook a long and perilous journey in the hope of finding aid. My ship was destroyed. Now I know it was Gwyndon's doing. He has followed me here. Forgive me put all of you in danger. You came for help, princess, and you will get it. He's come back. Oh, I must leave. Quinton has defeated all the best knights in my homeland. But we're mystic knights, and we will defeat Grindon. You will return safely to your homeland. We promise you, on our mystic armor. Here, here. You're with us, Deirdre, aren't you? What? You're with us, aren't you, Deirdre? Of course. I want the princess safely home. You don't understand. Grindon! We leave at once to drive it away from the castle. So be it. I tried and... Let me help you. Thank you. I think Lynette's having a gentling effect on Deirdre. Princess Lynette is gone! She asked her maid to thank the king for his kindness. We've got to find her before Grindon does. Hurry! Lynette! She's been this way. She can't be far. Neither can Grindon. Princess Lynette! Wait. What's this? There she is. Good work, Ivar. Lynette, wait! Lynette! Princess! It's too dangerous for you to be alone. I had to leave before I brought more suffering to your kingdom. The creature is nearby. I've told you. It's me he wants. He knows I'm on a mission to destroy him. And we will destroy him, Princess. With you to draw him out. Wait for us to hide, then walk through the clearing. Grindon is sure to attack, and we will surprise him. Ah! <sighs> 
can't defeat this beast. No one can. Finbarra said it could be stopped. He said only the right hand could defeat it. We've tried that more than once. You've just given me an idea, Angus. What? Go, go and... Why does this beast want you so badly? Because they want to see him destroyed. No, because only you can destroy him. Do you think hers is the right hand Finvara spoke of? It's the only hand that can end this evil. Oh, but I can't. How? I'm not a warrior. Trust me. Take my sword. Quickly. <sighs> That's the end of Grinda. And after so much suffering. Well done, Lynette. I admire your courage. We must share the good news with the king. Your bravery has saved your people. And now I must return to them. Did you not say your journey was long and perilous? So it is. But I travel with a light heart, bearing the joyous news that Grindon is no more. Your safe passage is our privilege to provide. A mystic knight shall accompany you this day on your travels. Uh, oh, the the wait, 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 wait. One at a time. My king, as to Ganta, I feel it is my duty to see the princess to safety. Father, as princess and mystic knight, I owe it to Lynette to go with her so that we can become good friends. But I am the most experienced traveler of the road. I should escort the princess. No, my skills as a mystic knight must be tested. Escorting the princess should be my quest. <clears throat> uh, King Connor, it was me that gave Rowan the idea that Lynette destroyed the beast, so uh, we're right here. <laughs> you each have good reason for escorting the princess safely home, but only one knight will go. Todd? One long, one short. <sighs> Garrett wins the draw. You leave at once. Thank you for your great kindness. You are most welcome. Well, your ship awaits. And you, Garrett, will be greatly missed on your long passage. I've just had word that Maeve is rebuilding her troops. I fear that the truce may be short-lived. Kells will be in my thoughts. My king. My friends. Keep your eyes open. You have a long and dangerous journey ahead. Precious cargo. Take good care of these ruffians. You can depend on it. And Deirdre, I suppose you'll be glad to see me go. No, not at all. I mean, I wish. Yes? I wish you a safe journey and a swift return. I promise I'll be back. Safe journey. So long. A kiss from the princess. I'd brave a long journey for one of those. Uh-huh. And I'd be right behind you.